Hello everyone, Hu Tao is out, but the thing is you might not have the perfect spear for her. So let's take a look at what viable free to play spears would be good for Hu Tao right now. A few weeks ago, I posted my opinions on what 4 star pole arms were good for Hu Tao, but they were not correct. I didn't do any calculations, I just went based off of my prior knowledge of the game. But as I did more calculations and research on Hu Tao, I realized I'm probably wrong. So I did a lot more research and calculations, like a lot of calculations this time and reevaluated all my opinions of what I think are the best pole arms for Hu Tao. To summarize what I did, basically I looked up online and used the damage equations that people have found that seemed to work. I went on Hu Tao's demo character and looked at all her stats and put them all on an excel sheet. I then did observations on what each specific damage were and obtained the data for them and tried to reciprocate them multiple times. The data that I used were first hit auto attack with critical damage, glass stands for when she's less than 50% health, so she has damage modifiers such as Pyro Boost, Homa Boost, Damage Boost for her burst. Once I'm confident on what damage Hu Tao does consistently, I try to hand reciprocate these data on Excel and was able to reciprocate them using the equations given on the website. And the following damage multipliers that were given, monster resistances, crit damages, and etc. In the end, I'm a decimal or one unit off, but I'm confident to say that these are actually 99% correct. I also included average damage because I also want us to take account of crit rate as that is a huge factor on Hu Tao's DPS roll. So enough of my processes, let's take a look at each of the weapon. We're going to compare them to Staff of Homa to see the difference. First is Dragon Spine. Demo Hu Tao's overall attack would be 2670 and you can see when she is in glass mode she does significantly less damage with Dragon Spine averaging around 2821 overall. Especially her burst where it was 30,200 damage versus Staff of Homa, which is almost 33% greater than Dragon Spine. Ability will do 1620 and remember it's physical. So it's only boosted by Dragon Spine subset which is a 0.69 increase in damage multiplier doing 1,600 damage around every 10 seconds. Dragon Spine, as I always say, is just the worst version of Crescent. My opinion has not changed about this. Second is Crescent. This I checked the exact timing of when I get the elemental orbs and I get 2 elemental orbs per skill cycle which accounts to my ability being active at a maximum of 10 seconds out of the 16 second cooldown. Now it's not that much different from Dragon Spine's damage and remember that the attack buff is from HP so base attack actually is not going to matter as much as you think for these weapons. It's still significantly better than Dragon Spine. The reason is Double check the ability which does 20% of normal damage. The gray font signifies that it is unfortunately physical damage. I tested this with Xiang Ling in Chong Yun's elemental skill and unfortunately they were independent and were physical damage. So they don't get Hu Tao's pyro damage boost. However, assume that you do 2 stabs per second and the ability is active for 10 seconds. Then that would mean in the same time span of this icicle, you would do around 6.6k damage which is why it's significantly better than Dragon Spine, mainly because of its ability. Next is Prototype. Hu Tao will get a max stack of once, since it is based off of elemental skill activation. Since it is active 12 seconds out of 16 second cooldown, I just did 3 fourths of the damage increase and just added it to her auto attacks to make understanding this easier. Unfortunately, I can't tell if it's better than Crescent, because I think in the long run they'll do similar damages because of their abilities. They'll be doing similar DPS damages where Crescent is going to be doing more damage because of its ability, but Prototype is going to be doing more damage in the long run because he's going to get more energy recharge and be able to do more bursts. So I can't really tell which one is going to be better. But taking into consideration that Crescent is only active 10 out of the 16 seconds while Prototype is active almost the whole time. It's just like 3 4th and then it still has the energy recharge. I would say Prototype is better. Um, So there's been a lot of debate on whether this weapon is going to be a good one to choose from. And... I was actually pretty perplexed by the data of this and I triple checked my calculations and fortunately I think this is correct. The last not even 4 star weapon is White Tassel. Um, so I want you to take a look at this data for a few seconds to process why I was a bit perplexed by this. Alright, now if you haven't noticed by now, the auto attack of White Tassel is significantly larger than Staff of Homa. I was actually really confused on why this happened. So I tried to reciprocate my white tassel damage on Shang Ling because I was like, oh, it says increase, which in math means you are adding your normal attack damage. So what I mean by this is that Hu Tao's first hit damage is 74%. So maybe it's adding 48% on it. So you will get, I don't know, what is that? 122% damage on it. 
Uh, no. The 48% is actually a multiplier. The only time I was able to reciprocate Xiang Ling's damage is when I used it as a multiplier. And the multiplier is based on normal attack. This means that it is not based off of base attack. It's based off of whatever damage you were going to do originally with a regular pole arm times that by 1.48. Some of you might be wondering, why does White Tassel not do this much damage with other characters? Some of you might know that when you do crit rate and crit damage percent, it is more prevalent when your attack is much higher in the late game and when you start to add a vaporize and other damage on, it could be massive. Now the thing is, with all the multipliers that Hu Tao has, imagine adding another multiplier that is close to 50% increase in the overall damage, which is where we get these ridiculous numbers. Some of you might also ask, doesn't the order matter of how we multiply these matter? There is something in math called commutative property of multiplication, which states that the order of how you multiply these do not matter. So these are actually correct in the rules of mathematics. Now this only affects auto attacks. As you can see, the burst is still significantly worse than staffs. So if you're doing one time massive damage, staff triumphs. However, if you're doing constant auto attacks, white tassel is actually significantly stronger. However, that's not all. If we take a look at all the 4 star weapons, notice that White Tassel's burst average is still the highest. Now did Sensei make a miscalculation? No. The reason why I added this in the first place was to include in White Tassel's substat which is crit rate percent. The reason why White Tassel has the highest average burst is because it is closest to the 1 to 2 crit ratio which will give you the most amount of damage. Now I'm not going to say it's the best 4 star, oh the irony. 4 star weapon in the tier list, but I believe that White Tassel is definitely significantly the strongest free to play weapon for Hu Tao significantly. But I do want one of you to test this out and see if it is true because I'm honestly not sure if this is completely correct as well. Because all of this is calculation based on theory, not in practical sense. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for all of you. Once again, please let me know if these numbers are correct. I'm 99% correct that all of these numbers are theoretically correct, but I'm really curious on how they work in application. Please comment down below if you want me to do a full 4 star weapon roster just like this, because this actually took a really long time to do, and a lot of triple checking my sources and confirming actual video evidence for me to check. The calculations themselves took 4 hours alone, so if the editing doesn't come out the best, that's the reason why. If the video was helpful for you, all I wish for from you is just a like. So I know my efforts were not for nothing, and despite all my complaints in this video, I actually had a lot of fun figuring this out. So definitely expect more of these in the future, where I can see you in the next video.